Hello, this is Steph. FMPEG 8.0 has just been released after version 7.1.1 some months ago. So now we're going to take a look at the new features that uh, FMPEG 8.0 has. And uh, so enough talk. Here we have a Windows, but this thing can be followed very well also on Linux. The things will be the same and uh, we can get started. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is to take a look at uh, the news that are available in the ffmpeg.org page. We are going here on the news and here we see August the 22nd, 2025, FMPEG 8.0 Huffman. A new major release, FMPEG 8.0 Huffman, is now available for download. Thanks to several delays and modernization of our entire free infrastructure, this release ended up being one of our largest releases to date. In short, its new features are native decoders, APV, which stands for Advanced Professional Video, which is a video that is designed to provide a, a professional level, high quality video like uh, post-production or recording. And um, then there is a ProRes RAW, maybe for the people who work with Apple uh, equipment. Uh, ProRes is something that is uh, not new and uh, ProRes was, is um, visually lossless, lossy uh, video. And uh, this provides something that is very close to the raw format. So something that uh, is uh, as uh, coming straight from the camera, for example. And so now there is a uh, uh, support for decoding this kind of videos. Then there is a real video 6.0 real video. Is, uh, has been developed by Real. Real is uh, that software house that uh, developed uh, uh, the Real Player. Maybe people um, are or have worked with it. And uh, so it is a Real Video with HEVC inside also. Then Sanyo LD ADPCM and G728, which are two uh, video, uh, sorry, uh, audio uh, codecs. Then there's a, a VVC decoder improvements. So the decoder for H.266 video, VVC stands for versatile video coding. And there's IBC, which stands for intra block copy, uh, which is a technique that uh, essentially, uh, so when you have an iframe for the people for technical talk here, um, for when you have an iframe, you either have blocks that are coming from scratch. Uh, in the other types of frames, you have uh, all blocks coming from scratch, but this is the minority, all blocks referenced from other frames. In this case, uh, the intra block coding uh, allows the referral of other blocks inside uh, uh, the uh, frame itself. So, this is uh, all for um, essentially uh, content on the screen, uh, screen content uh, copy, so the screen code content SCC. Uh, just like ACT, which stands for Adaptive Color Transform and uh, Palette Mode. So this is to decide uh, which type of uh, um, chrominance to choose and the palette mode, which colors we're going to choose. These are uh, all designed for uh, coding screen material, for example, when you have a call, when you have to share your screen and uh, imagine this kind of environment. Then there is the Vulkan that we mentioned in other previous versions of FMPEG as well. Vulkan compute based codecs like FFV1. So there is FFV1 supported by Vulkan and also ProRes RAW. FFV1 encode and decode, so you can compress and decompress this uh, type of stream and uh, ProRes RAW only allows the decoding. Then there's the hardware accelerate decoding, Vulkan VP9, VAAPI VVC, Open Harmony, H264 and H265. On the encoding point of view, we had the Vulkan AV1 and Open Harmony H264, H265. So Open Harmony is both uh, for encoding and decoding this version. Then uh, as formats, we have MCC, G728, WIP, and APV. So APV related to uh, the advanced professional video. 
the filters, we have the color detect, pad CUDA, scale D3, D11, whisper, so this is uh, the uh, speech to text thing, and others. So these are uh, some of the things that are available. So let's keep reading. A new class of decoders and decoders uh, and encoders based on pure Vulkan compute implementation have been added. Vulkan is a cross-platform, open standard set of APIs that allows uh, programs to use GPU hardware in various ways, from drawing on screen to doing calculations to decoding video via custom hardware accelerators. Rather than using a custom hardware accelerator present, these codecs are based on compute shaders and work on any implementation of Vulkan 1.3. Uh, decoders use the same Excel, HWXL API and comments, so users do not need to do anything special to enable them, as enable Vulkan decoding is sufficient to use them. And encoders, like uh, hardware accelerated encoders, require specifying a new encoder, FFV1 Vulkan. Currently, the only coder supports are supported are FFV1, encoding and decoding, and ProRes RAW, decode only. ProRes, encode and decode, and VC2, encode and decode implementations are complete and currently in review to be merged soon and available with the next minor release. So there will be an 8.1 or 8.0.1, uh, usually it's 8.1, uh, where we, that we will be the ProRes, encode and decode, and VC2 implementations. Only codecs specifically designed for parallelized decoding can be implemented in such a way, with more mainstream codecs not being planned for support. Depending on the hardware, these new codecs can provide very significant speedups and open up possibilities to work with them for situations like non-linear video editors and lossless screen recording and streaming, so we are excited to learn what our downstream users can make with them. The project has recently started to modernize its infrastructure. In fact, this uh, is something that is carried on from previous version of uh, FNPEG as well. Our mailing list servers have been fully upgraded and we have recently started to accept contributions via a new forge available on code.fnpeg.org running our Forgeo instance. As usual, we recommend the user, distributors and system integrators to upgrade unless they use current Git master. Okay, cool. So we are seeing a bit of features that are available and uh, let's go okay so now we are ready to try the prores raw uh, decoding so here we have a video uh so encoded with this uh, kind of uh, codec so we are going to open it oh, let's go directly we are already in the folder so if the probe uh, Here we go. So here, as you can see, ProRes RAW and uh, so APRH buyer RGB RGGB sixteen uh, LE with uh, a quite higher resolution, and uh, we are ready to reencode it somewhere else. So we are going to take FMPAG. Let me clear the screen a little fmpeg minus i this minus c v so we are taking a it's a six four so we are trying the decoding and uh, minus c a copy so we're copying the audio stream or we take a a c okay just to make them both uh and the destination so we don't want to make too much we call it as a reencoder.mkv and here it goes with the reencoding so now it's able to decode the video Okay, it's a bit long because uh, okay. 
OK. And the process is finished. So we can take a look at what it did. So this is the encoded. And here we have uh, the big video. So the video is quite big. I, it is difficult for me to play it, but the video is this. Okay, now we're taking a look at the uh, uh, color detect filter uh, in the FMPEG 8.0. And uh, first of all, we're going to see the FMPEG filters documentation. To take a look at this page, we can go to the FMPEG page, then going to documentation, then filters. And here you have the whole list of filters. We can search for color detect color detect and here we go so the color detect analyze the video frames to determine the effective value range and alpha mode the filter accepts the following options okay so uh, it essentially tries to detect if a video is effectively in full color range or limited color range what does it mean so when you have uh, uh, um, the spectrum so over all the pixel values usually a normal video doesn't have all the range available so you have only a limited part because the uh, values that are on the edge are um, checks and uh, stuff that uh, the codec manages for itself so there are no pixel values it's something else so sometimes you have the flag that the video is limited but uh, it is not or vice versa so you have the video that uh, has a full range so all the possible pixel values available, but uh, the flag uh, does not tell it. So this video, sorry, this filter detects if uh, the color range is there or not. And also if uh, there is uh, uh, an alpha channel. So if you have um, uh, a transparency in your, in your video. Okay, so here we have uh, uh, the video. This is an old uh, Big Buck Bunny uh, with the same uh, 12 seconds of sample. And uh, the filter, so here we go, this is the input, then uh, we're putting our filter V, because this is a filter related to the video stream, and this is color detect, and with mode, uh, let's take them all. And we don't know, we don't want any uh, output value. We want only this message. So we can make something like this minus F no minus. And uh, here it takes that the detected color properties are color range, JPEG full range, and alpha mode none. So the video doesn't have any transparency and the color range is a full range not limited range okay that's all simple as that the other filter that we have available is a pad cuda that is essentially a padding so it's the same thing as it said here does the uh, the pad filter but uh, with uh, a cuda acceleration so you have a video with high resolution with uh, a big frame rate so in my hardware it doesn't work so i cannot show you but here there are some uh, sample comments that you can try and uh, so it should uh, add the padding as you want within the video the last filter i would like to show you here is uh, whisper so whisper is uh, an automatic speech recognition that has been released by openai so the same that is developing ChatGPT, and uh, uh, Especially, this is its evolution, whisper.cpp. Uh, so it's a bit more, uh, so it reduces the uh, delays uh, and uh, it's a bit more uh, efficient. So, what we can do is to try directly with a comment. I think it deserves uh, a video by itself. So, we're going to see later how to work it in, uh, to work with it in detail. So, now I have uh, a comment right here that uh, essentially takes uh, the audio from uh, my microphone that I have here. Um, so it's uh, different than the one that I'm using right now. And uh, we have uh, the uh, model 
that is uh, used and it generates a recording in wave and also the subtitles so we are going on i'm going to execute hello like share and subscribe to my channel okay so now it generated the recording it runs the, the transcription okay it's a bit delayed maybe with uh, uh, everything running on my pc it doesn't do everything um, um, at runtime so now let's see the recording so let's try with f play subscribe to my channel okay so the video the audio is very low but uh, we see the subtitles and uh, take a look and here we go so hello like share and subscribe to my channel that's what i said okay so this is uh, in a nutshell what uh, fmpeg 8.0 has uh, remember to like, share and subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified about the videos I'll be releasing. And uh, so see you next time for other content related to multimedia, but also much, much, much more. Ciao, ciao.